So, you're thinking about moving to Vieira, Florida. Well, today I am going to go over the six pros and cons that I think you need to know when considering a moving to Vieira, Florida. So, Vieira, Florida is a jurisdiction, a part of Brevard County. It's a stewardship and a master HOA planned community. It started off in Vieira East and then expanded, currently being built into Vieira West. Vieira East was kind of the original Vieira and it's a little bit more like early 2000s, late 90s. Vieira at West is early 2000s up until being built. When I'm referring to Vieira, I will reference Vieira West a lot more because that's where a lot of people are moving into currently, especially with the new construction. But Vieira East is still a wonderful place to live as well. It's just a little bit, it's more residential and then you just have to cross 95. You don't actually have to get onto 95, but it, 95 is kind of the border between Vieira East and Vieira West. And then on the other side of Vieira West is that community where there's more commercial aspects to it as well that I'm gonna get into further today. Okay, so let's get started. So pro number one is that Vieira is a master plan community. What that means is it all an HOA. And basically this means that throughout it has been planned so that there is an even amount of residential areas to commercial areas. So you have the convenience of living close by to your grocery stores, to shopping, either retail or Fear Builders has the Avenues, which is an open air mall. And it's got so many things. It's got a movie theater. It's got tons of restaurants. It's got Old Navy, Sephora, Ulta, Chipotle. So a ton of stores, which is awesome. And it just kind of has everything you need. And if you are living in Vera West, you could actually just get on a golf cart. There are sidewalks uh, located throughout the community that you can get on and drive your golf cart to the avenues or Publix. If you live in Vieira East at the moment, you have to get in your car to get there. It's still very close, uh, but right now there is no path connecting uh, the golf car accessibility. They do have a plan to connect it eventually, but it has been in the works for years and still has not been done and there's no timeline for it. So just keep that in mind. It would be great when it eventually happens. So another thing, including in all this master plan committees, is the schools. There's newer schools. They just built the middle school open this year, and you can get in your golf cart and drive to school. It's funny. I've never seen anything like it. The high school has a whole parking lot just for golf carts. So once your kids turn 16, you can get them a golf cart a lot cheaper, and they can get there so much easier. So let's talk about con number one. On the flip side of living in a master plan community, this means that you're going to have HOA fees. It's all in HOA, no matter where you live in Vieira East or Vieira West, you are going to be li uh, living under that master HOA as well as your neighborhood HOA. Sometimes there's additional fees depending on the neighborhood. So I've seen the minimum of two fees, the master plan and the neighborhood. And then I've seen up to five different fees from the uh, master plan community to the hyper local community fee, the central Vieira assessment. For example, uh, there's a CDD fee in some communities, some others there are not. The CDD fees are mostly the newest communities. So Cross Malina, Pangea, Farallon Field, there's the CDD fee. And then there are bulk cable and Wi-Fi. So some of the communities, they do have a contract with Spectrum Cable and Internet. And you do get a reduced price because you are in the bulk community but you do have to pay for it. You don't have the option to exempt yourself. And there are some that have an amenity center fee as well. And those are uh, part of the Addison Village Club, which is about $630 a year it is mandatory. And those communities are just to name off a few that's Railing Park, Avalonia, a lot of them over there. There are gonna be a few different fees, but for a lot of people, those fees are absolutely reasonable because they love all the amenities offered in the community. And for others, they can't fathom paying those fees and they will opt out for different areas or VREs, which has only usually two feet. Okay, so pro number two, there is something for everyone. Vera has grown in popularity so much over the past few years. And one of the main reasons is that the builders who are the owners of Vera, the Duda family, and essentially Vera used to be uh, celery and sod fields. 
and they decided they wanted to build this community. The family has come up with this plan. With that plan, they wanted it to be for everyone. So whether you are an empty nester, just starting your family, a working professional, retired, or you're just getting out of your parents' home, there's something for everyone. So there is the apartment complexes, there's 55 plus communities. There are some communities in Avalonia, for example, the villas that are perfect for a starter home or an empty nester. Some of them are three bedrooms and they're perfect for a family home. There's just something for everyone in Vieira, which makes it wonderful. It's such a blend of people and that is why it has grown so much in popularity. I've helped a lot of families in the past uh, year and currently purchase in Vieira and a lot of them are moving here for the space industry. Some were pilots, some are working at the Florida Institute of Technology, some work from home, some are retired, so just such a blend of different people. Okay, con number two, and this is something that's super subjective. I have heard that people have complained about traffic in Vieira. When I drive there, I don't think it's necessarily traffic. For me, what I think of traffic is when I drive down to Miami or Florida and you're literally stuck there, dead stop, and you're not moving. Yes, there's cars on the roads. Like I mentioned, it has grown in popularity, but it moves, you know, and there's not this stop and go uh, traffic that I refer to. So just depends on where you're coming from. If you're used to a less populated area, more rural, Viera is definitely going to feel a bit, you know, it's going to feel like there's a lot of people. And if you're used to a city, I just think Viera is a lot more relaxed. Uh, open road spaces, in my opinion, it can get a little congested over by the open air mall or some of the intersections like off Panita. But for the most part, I just don't think it's traffic, but this is subjective. So I added that in there because it's something that you should know if that's a concern for you. Okay, so real quick though, if you're new here, my name is Rachel Langley and I'm a real estate agent here in Vieira, Florida. I help many people just like you move here every day, whether that's for a resale property or for new construction, I can help you either way. So make sure you contact me. My information is on the screen right now. And while you're at it, if you could hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more content. I talk about all different areas in Brevard County or known as the Space Coast. So definitely give me a subscribe so that you can stay tuned on what's going on in the area. Okay, so pro number three, let's talk about weather. I make a lot of pros and cons videos all throughout my channel. And sometimes I get comments like, oh, come on, weather is everything, you know, the weather is a pro for Florida in general. I want more specific things. And then sometimes I get comments like, why didn't you bring up the weather? Why didn't you bring up hurricanes? So I'm just gonna add these in here, kind of just give you my own perspective on them. So someone that grew up in the Northeast, I absolutely love the weather here. Now it is super, super hot in the summertime. The great thing about the era is there's a ton of community pools. So you probably will belong to one of them or you can purchase a home with a pool. That's kind of where you'll find me in the summertime when I'm not working is in the pool or at the beach. A lot of times this is kind of like our winter where a lot of people will stay inside in the air conditioning. But for me, I prefer this 100% than being stuffed up in the winter time, just eating and have nothing else to do. You can go outside still in the hot heat. Your cars are AC. A lot of the buildings are AC, whether it's Publix. Sometimes you even have to wear a coat to work. My husband brings a coat because it's freezing actually inside the building because of the AC. Otherwise, the winter time is absolutely amazing. It's November right now. It's actually kind of hot. I was in the pool yesterday. It's still 80 degrees. It's usually cooler, but it's been warm this year. It's November, it's 80 degrees. I showed some clients yesterday and they were in short sleeves and shorts living their life. They were so happy. So that's kind of what it's like here. Some things to know in the summertime, we get a torrential downpour, usually around three o'clock. So uh, I like to arrange showings out of that time so you're not stuck in driving. So you might have to change your work schedule just to get not drive in the torrential downpour, but it usually is only for about 30 minutes. And then in the winter time is more of our dry season. So we won't see as much rain. You have to water your grass more. But other than that, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. If you're someone who maybe grew up in the Northeast like me, it's rainy and cold all the time. It's just so life-changing that my mood is so much better throughout the year, throughout the day. I highly recommend if you're someone that might suffer from seasonal depression or just want some, try something new. There are other people that have lived here their whole lives that absolutely hate it. So that's just my two cents. I absolutely love it. And a lot of my clients do as well. Okay, con number three, like I mentioned, hurricanes, that's for all of Florida. 
We do get hurricanes here. We had one this year, Milton. It was pretty scary in the sense that Helene had just happened and flooded a lot of areas. So Milton was coming directly for us. And you know, that was a little bit scary not knowing what it could be. Ended up being completely fine. We had a lot of rain. The wind was super scary to listen to, but it didn't cause too much damage. Um, one of our old fences came down. Some people's roof kind of lost just a couple of shingles, but for the most part, it didn't damage too much. Now, it is Florida. Could it happen anywhere? Absolutely. But history shows that most of the time, you can, I can actually pull up a graphic right here so you can see that the history of hurricanes typically come in through the West Coast. Um, and by the time they hit us, they're downgraded to either a three, two, one, or tropical storm. So it's a lot less intense by the time it hits us. So we've been super lucky, but I always tell my clients, I even own it, get flood insurance, especially if you're in Vieira, it's super cheap because you're so far away from the water. I'm a little bit closer to the water and I pay 850 a year. It's peace of mind and it's Florida, so you never know. So just something to think about, especially with people who are nervous about insurance, you can absolutely get insurance in Vieira easily because of its location. Might as well get that extra protection and get flood insurance as well. Okay, so pro number four is Vieira's location. In regards to hurricanes, it is located uh, more inland. It's west of US-1. A lot of insurance companies like that because you're farther away from storm surge. So that helps with not only insurance rate, it helps just peace of mind as well that you are further away from all of that. But otherwise, location is still uh, absolutely amazing in different regards. It's located in the middle of the county. A lot of people love it because it's super close to Patrick Space Force Space if you have employment there. It's about 35, 40 minutes from the Kennedy Space Center, but a lot of people still choose to live there despite the commute because of what it can offer for their families or for themselves. It also is only about 30 minutes from LB Harris, Northrop Grumman over in Palm Bay and West Melbourne. So um, great locations for appointment and getting to the beach. It's only about 15 to 20 minutes away. Great location just to get to different areas of the county because there's events all over the county, which is awesome. Definitely reach out to join my newsletter to see what kind of events happen. People absolutely love my newsletters because it goes out every Saturday morning and you can see all the events happening locally. One other thing about the location is we are about 45 minutes to an hour uh, to Orlando, 45 minutes to the Orlando airport. So I help a lot of pilots that love the area and they have a great commute to the Orlando airport. There's also an airport here in Melbourne as well that some a lot of pilots will also have as a home base and live here. So lots of employment opportunities here. Okay, con number four is it is a higher cost of living in Vieira, Florida compared to other parts of Brevard County. The reason for that is really all of the reasons above and more pros I'm gonna be naming after this. And it's just that, you know, the master plan community, A-rated schools I'm gonna be talking about a little bit further really help keep your resale value and also just in general are the reason why it's a little bit of a higher cost of living. But for the most part, I'm helping about eight clients right now purchase with Vera Builders and they're ranging anywhere from about $650 to $800,000. That is a four bedroom home, just different calibers of the four bedroom, all four bedroom houses, anywhere from 2,500 square feet to 3,200 square feet. So that's gonna be the price range in Vieira. If you do want a pool, you can add about $100,000 to that price range because pools are definitely very sought after in Vieira. And then Vieira East, you can definitely find something for less. It's just a little bit more older of a home. It's still early 2000s, so not the end of the world, but you can find anything from starting at 450,000 and some less, 399, and then all the way up to you know a million dollars and up. There are luxury neighborhoods as well, starting at 1.3 million. So such a variety of options, but yes, the cost is a little bit higher because of all the amenities available. Okay, con number five, if you love to party or just go out and have drinks, there are restaurants throughout, but for the most part, there's no nightlife. You're not gonna find clubs or anything like that. Cocoa Beach isn't too far away and that's where you can find more nightlife. Also Coco Village, separate from Coco Beach, has a lot of great nightlife. They have a theater, they have bars, a riverfront things. So not too far away from the nightlife, but you're not gonna really find it in Vieira if that's what you're looking for. Pro number six is the A-rated schools. That's one of the reasons that help keep the prices up, which 
is great when you have to go resale, still great that the prices kind of keep themselves up in the area. As a real estate agent, I'm not supposed to elaborate any further other than what is statistically online because of fair housing laws, but I'll put links below so you can do some research on the schools and there's public schools, charter schools, and private schools. There are choice schools not located in Vieira, but there are choice schools as well. So there's a lot of variety of options for education that you can look into if that is important to you. Okay, and con number six is, this is just in general in Florida, but I couldn't think of more, I couldn't think of more cons because it's such a great area. So there's limited transportation. That's pretty much in general in Florida. You're not gonna find public transportation that much. So it's definitely an area where you have to have a car, golf cart. But other than that, it's such a great place to live. But other than the public transportation and HOAs and the fees, it's such a great place to live. I help so many clients a year move into the area. They absolutely love it. And I love helping people move to the area because they're just so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please reach out if you have any questions or looking to move to the area. I'd love to connect with you and help you with your home search. My name is Rachel Langley and I'll see you on the next one.